Salada cafeteria monitor at an elementary school in Westchester is under investigation. Parents say that she was verbally and emotionally abusive to their young children. Local 10's Christina Vasquez live now outside Corolla Park Elementary with what the school district is now saying. Christina. Within literally the last hour, we are hearing from the district and they confirm that this employee has been removed from this school site pending the outcome of an investigation. They're treating the children like if this was a correctional facility, if this is a military school, whistling in their ear, throwing away their food while they're eating. That's George Del Rio, father of a Coral Park Elementary fifth grader who says the school site's new cafeteria monitor being verbally abusive towards kids. Who its new principal, Susanna Suarez, he says brought here, has been emotionally and verbally abusing their young children during lunch. Sitting them away from other children to humiliate them. A string of WhatsApp parent chat messages document weeks of similar complaints. The lunch lady is out of control, not letting the kids go to the bathroom. Another said his son broke down in tears. The younger ones are being discredited, writes a parent, because they are the ones that are being yelled at constantly. The chatter then turns to feeling like the principal is not taking their concerns seriously. I think she's avoiding this, a parent writes, because she is the one that brought that lady. We find out it was that she brought this staff member with her from another, comp uh, from another school. Frustrated, Dobrio files a Miami-Dade County Schools police report, claiming the cafeteria monitor is being abusive, the principal negligent. The district confirmed they are investigating, and then, just before we are set to meet with Del Rio for an interview. I just left a meeting with the superintendent, the deputy superintendent, who informed me that this employee now has been removed from the school. I'm glad for the parents to, uh, to have stepped forward. That's District 36 State Senator Ileana Garcia, who met with some of the parents this morning and school leadership. I think a month was good enough time to investigate the person in the cafeteria, and it shouldn't have been the media that stepped out for you to finally think, well, maybe we should get rid of this person. And hopefully in the future, we won't see any more of this. And once again, the district confirming that this employee has been removed from the school with pay pending the outcome of their ongoing investigation. Reporting live for you tonight, I'm Christina Vasquez, Local 10 News. Okay, Christina, thanks a lot.